Hello everyone and welcome to Fancy Football's 10 biggest transfer news and rumours of the day. Please subscribe to Fancy Football and always hit the notification bell. Let us get into the business of the day. Simon Rolfs, sports director of Bayer Leverkusen, has stated that he thinks manager Zabi Alonso will stay with the team beyond this season. Alonso has become Europe's most sought-after asset as Bayer Leverkusen leads the Bundesliga by eight points over Bayern, the reigning champions. Ahead of next season, Liverpool and Bayern are looking to replace their head coach. Despite rumours that both teams have contacted Alonso in an effort to convince him to quit the Bayer arena, Rolf seems unconcerned. In an interview with Frankfurter Rundschau, Rolf said, I remain calm and optimistic. The most important thing for managers is that they feel comfortable and have the feeling that they are in the right place. Zabi knows what he has at the club, he has said that many times. This is how he works with his team and his coaching team every day. There are many subjunctives in the world. Not everyone has to enter. Eric Diaz loaned Dell at Bayern Munich to become a permanent transfer this summer. He has fulfilled his contractual responsibilities, according to David Ornstein of The Athletic. The first agreement, reached in January with Tottenham Hotspur, was meant to last until the conclusion of the current campaign with a one-year extension option. The defender will be bound by that option through June 2025, as it has now been activated. Bayern will essentially register the 30-year-old as a free agent when his Spurs contract expires, having already paid Spurs a reputed €4 million Euros loan fee. The former England international has made six appearances so far, including four starts, and the 33-time German champions are happy with his leadership qualities and contribution. He recently assisted Bayern in a crucial 2-1 victory over RB Leipzig at home. The Times reports that Getafe is prepared to begin negotiations with Manchester United on the possibility of a permanent transfer or another loan agreement for the 22-year-old English striker Mason Greenwood. Getafe is eager to retain Greenwood, even if reports suggest he has drawn interest from Barcelona and Atletico Madrid after capturing their attention in La Liga this season. It's unclear if Manchester United will approve a second loan because they'll need to raise money for a player who has a contract that expires in 2025. Liverpool are reportedly interested in signing Brentford striker Brian Mbiumo as a replacement for Mohamed Salah, who could leave at the off the season. Salah has been targeted by the Saudi Pro League's executives, who hope to recruit the Egyptian to join Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar Jr. as league ambassadors. Last summer, Liverpool reportedly turned down a sizable offer from a Saudi club, because they wanted to hang on to, to hang on to their star winger. However, it is now anticipated that a deal for Salah may occur, and the Express reports that Liverpool's executives have named the Brentford star as their summer transfer priority. Mbumo, 24, has started the 2-0-2-3-2-4 season off brightly, tallying seven goals and three assists in 15 games before suffering an ankle injury in the first few days of December. In 38 league games the previous season, he finished with nine goals and eight assists. Mbumo can threaten opponents any time he gets the chance with to his power, pace and cutting edge in the final third. According to reports, Barcelona is willing to pay 15 million euros to keep Joao Cancelo, but Atletico Madrid's 70 million euros demand may prevent them from obtaining Joao Felix. Due to budgetary limitations at Camp Nou, both players joined Barcelona on loan last summer. This move was made necessary since the team was unable to pursue permanent acquisitions. The Blagrana are keen to keep both Felix and Cancelo for the next campaign, despite their temporary situation, and talks have already begun at the Catalan headquarters. We brought you report yesterday that Jorginho agent wants a return to the Italian Serie A. According to the Evening Standard, Jorginho and Arsenal are scheduled to begin contract negotiations. The midfield player's current contract is coming to an end, but there is still a chance to extend it by another year. Jorginho, who has been playing well lately, was outstanding on Saturday night as Arsenal defeated Newcastle 4-1. Rather than just exercising the option to extend his present contract, the Gunners are now scheduled to begin negotiations with the Italian on new terms. Liverpool winger Luis Diaz in line for shock transfer exit as Reds make Mo Salah decision and line up three new deals. With so many offensive alternatives, the Reds are open to hearing proposals. Salah, 
Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Virgil van Dijk's new contracts are the top priorities for the person taking over for Jurgen Klopp. And the future of Colombia's star player Diaz, 27, will be impacted by the verdict of Salah in particular. He had difficulties in the beginning part of the season, even before the kidnapping of his parents in his own country. However, after leaving Porto for a 37 million pounds transfer in January 2022, Diaz has displayed glimmers of his former form. Joel Matip and Thiago Alcantara will be leaving Anfield this summer when their contracts expire. There is just one whole season remaining on the contracts for Salah, Alexander-Arnold and Van Dijk. Salah is wanted by Paris Saint-Germain and Saudi Pro League teams, while Captain Van Dijk has backed off from remarks indicating he was unclear of his future following Klopp's departure. In light of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's alleged interest in Zinedine Zidane, the World Cup winner has hinted at a possible becoming the next Manchester United coach. After leaving Real Madrid, the only team he has managed, for the second time, the three-time Champions League winner has been unemployed since 2021. This week's French reports state that Ratcliffe, who was just confirmed as United's new co-owner and is now in control of all football-related affairs at the English Giants, has declared Zidane in his ideal manager and that Ineos is prepared to do everything in order to close the transaction. According to reports, Barcelona will let go of Hansi Flick and pursue Roberto de Zerbi as their preferred choice to follow Xavi. They have apparently given up on Michael Arteta, the manager of Arsenal, and Luis Enrique the manager of Paris Saint-Germain, both of whom have contracts with their respective teams. Hansi Flick was not included on Barcelona president Joan Laporta's shortlist of managerial candidates, according to an AS report. The club is currently focusing on Brighton boss De Zerbi. The 44-year-old strategist's name has a lot of resonance in Barcelona. Despite not having direct knowledge of La Liga, or the subtleties of the club's culture. Juventus and AC Milan are interested in signing Morocco striker Youssef and Nasiri, 26, as the forward enters the final year of his contract with Sevilla this summer. According to Il Corriere dello Sport in Italy Milan, which spoke with Sevilla last summer about trying to move Rafa Mir, is again interested in the Fez native and is reportedly considering a bid. If Juventus were interested I would be as well. The Italian tabloid claims that Inner Siri may be obtained for less than 20 million, which is the amount Sevilla paid Liggins for the 2020 release clause. The price of the player has decreased. Finally, on our question of the day, was Paul Pogba four years ban on doping related issue too harsh? Let us know what you think about the Pogba suspension by sending us your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.